Three years ago, Helen Glover was on top of the world, winning gold in the women's coxless pair at London 2012. And now, a year out from Rio 2016, she's ramping up as she looks to defend her title. And that means extensive training over the next 12 months, both on and off the water. My regime at the moment is totally different to when I first started. It was really important in the early days and early years actually to build up incredibly slowly to make sure my fitness and my strength were good enough for every step and every stage. Now I'm fortunate enough to be on a full-time training programme, so training is my job. I get up 6.30 in the morning. First breakfast is a really important meal for us to make sure I get some good vitamins and some good protein before I do my first session. Two hours on the water. Probably in a pair with Heather standing and myself and we'll go and we'll do our long session of the day. So it's usually long, slow and steady and that's just to get that aerobic capacity maximised, to get that training base done. So it's really kind of churning through the miles the first thing in the morning. I then have a second breakfast. Eating is very important for rowers so we're constantly fueling throughout the day. Second session is usually another water session or on the rowing machine. Again, we have lunch to make sure we're refueled, which is followed by a weight session in the gym. It's really important to have a very good core when you're uh, to protect your back and make sure all the work that you're doing is going into making the boat go faster. So a lot of the time will be spent doing things like plank and things that are going to help keep our stomachs strong. The main lifts that we do, the big lifts, are going to be the squats and cleans as well as bench press and bench pull, all things that are really important for rowers' conditioning and strength. And for the evening meal, it's making sure that you've fully refueled and are preparing yourself for the next day, not just the day that you've just had. That's the kind of time in the day where you can easily eat some chocolate or eat some cake or something like that, and that's definitely a perk of being a, being a rower, is that the amount of calories that you consume during the day is definitely reflected in, in the amount of training that we do. While Helen's life now revolves around rowing, it was a sport she came to late in life, taking it up just four years before her Olympic triumph. I started rowing in 2008, and before that I had never considered it. It hadn't been part of anything my family had done, none of my friends were rowers at all. I'd previously been a runner and a hockey player to quite, quite a good level, but my mum kind of contacted me saying she had seen this thing online, and you only have to be a certain height. Um, I applied, they tested my fitness, and I got funneled into rowing. I set myself the challenge of four years before the Olympic Games starting the sport and wanting to get to London and to make the team and to, to win the Olympic medal. Coaches were able to identify her rowing potential as an elite athlete, but for the rest of us it's not always easy to figure out which sport we're best suited to. To help, a new online profiler tool is being launched to determine which Olympic sport might be best for you. Team GB and Fitness First have created a new sports profiler tool. It's designed to help anyone find out a new sport they could be good at or enjoy. It's great for people who are really interested in trying something new because you don't know what it's going to suggest. It might be a sport that you love, it might be a sport that you're good at, it might be a sport that you know you have this whole new sort of lifestyle through. I think it's a really exciting way to find out what you could be good at. We're now a year away from Rio and I'm in the place that I'd want to be. That 365 days, you can, you can count them off and you, I'll know what training I'm doing every day for the next year really and it's, it's a remarkable thing to feel that close to something so important.